Hey guys, it is me, Kisame Unlimited, and today is Tuesday. Tuesdays are my weekly topics where I tackle various Yu-Gi-Oh! subjects in this game. The title of this video is Yu-Gi-Oh! needs a tier list, and Yu-Gi-Oh! has kind of a tier list, but it's kind of like half-ass, so I'm, I don't like it. So I was talking to my friend yesterday where I got this subject out of my system, and I threw up all over my computer screen. I had to get it all out. I was like, bleh. So if you guys would like to see another weekly topic next week, 500 likes would be the goal. Please do it. It makes the channel grow, be more successful, and it helps me at the end of the day you know, makes the channel more popular, and that's how you help me. Now, the one thing that people may not know about me is that I am a big, big, big Pokemon fan when it comes to the competitive aspect. You see, for me, I always played the video games, played competitively in the video games. I never really cared much about the card game. But the one thing that you guys would have to understand for the people that aren't Pokemon fans or aren't into the competitive scene, there's a site called Smogon where it would basically have tiers of anything goes Uber, OU, UU, RU, NU, and PU, which basically categorize every Pokemon into a specific tier. And if you want to battle someone, you could be in a very specific tier and only face Pokemon of that tier, if not lower. And that's what I like, because a good example is why I wish that would carry over with Yu-Gi-Oh! is because I like very underrated decks. And a lot of the times, I just want to have a good time. I don't always want to face meta. I just would, like, I don't care if I bump into meta once in a while, but there are times where everyone plays the same deck. Let's just say if I wanted to try Infernoids with the Grass Look Screener. Obviously, that's one of the best decks right now. So I would categorize it in the overused tier. So let's just say if I wanted to duel other people, I should only be able to duel people in the overused tier with other overused decks because it's a fair matchup. You see, for me, I don't think it's fair for a good example of someone like me that would be like, hey, I really like Constellars, and I'm going to throw it against fucking Paleozoic Frogs, or I'm going to bump into something like Infernoid, Grass Looks Greener variants, because obviously there's such a gap in their strength level, and as competitive and smart that I am with Constellars, in the end, card advantage outweighs whatever. It doesn't matter. Card advantage is what matters the most at the end of the day, and if some decks are built better than others, they're naturally gonna win unless I saw it like crazy and get lucky I would just rather like to see if you want to use an underrated deck you can only be around other underrated decks and if you want to play high tier meta you have to only face high tier meta because I think that that's fair and in Smogon the one thing that you can do is you could host in an OU battle and use a less tier you could go in doing that but if you play a high tier deck you are forced to to play against other high tier decks because it's fair. For me, I always say this because this is how I overall feel deep down. I rather lose with something that I care about than win with something I couldn't give a fuck about. Now you see, when it comes to Infernoids, I don't like them. I don't think that they're cool. I'm not interested. I get more of a personal connection and I like to play decks that reflect me. I don't know why I like to do that, but it makes me feel more personal to the game. That's why I love Yu-Gi-Oh! so much. But you see, I'm not in it to win it. I really don't give a flying fuck. For me, I like seeing the appreciation with the cards that I like and the decks that I play. But you see, not everyone is like me, so I can't really really fucking fault anybody else but that's how I am and if I can't find that personal fun unique connection with the deck then I don't really give a flying f about it but you see for me a lot of the decks that I found that with are very underrated and a lot of people only want to play to win but I feel like I'm subjected to seeing like the same five decks over and over and over again and I'm just like I'm just sick of seeing it I just wish that Yu-Gi-Oh had an option where it'd be like hey if you want to play casual underrated stuff will pitch you against other people within that tier because there are a lot of people that play casual and are really competitive and I would love to bump into those people much more often and it would be much more of a fair round back and forth as for the fuckery that goes on with fucking high overused decks today but that's just me one little example that I'll give you is Dino Miss is a deck that I've been playing for I want to say the past two years ever since I first saw them I've been playing them and somebody said hey Hey, someone made top eight with Dynamis, and then I said, Well, send me the deck list because I wouldn't mind looking at fucking a YCS Dynamis because I'd never see it. And then I took a lot of advice from the YCS, you know, top eight Dynamis player, and I integrated it into my build because I appreciate Dynamis. And obviously, I want to be as competitive with my casual base decks as possible, but I just really would like to take my casual base decks and make the best out of them. I'm not playing casual because I don't really care about the game and I'm just going with the emotions. Like, like, I don't really give a flying fucking, I'm lazy and I don't care about this game. No, 
I'm competitive and I would love to see my casual base decks go far and I do the six with the pain challenge where I duel anybody I don't care if you play meta at me and I don't care if you do whatever but I always go in and try to do my best and I would like to see other casual base players that do the same because I'm just sick of seeing the typical meta normal same bullshit not even like a hint of creativity or an inch to be different it's just cookie cutter net deck crap and for me it's like I made a video about net decking before of how I'm cool with it if you want to net deck be fun the only thing I don't like about net decking is you take a deck you don't change anything about it and you don't try to put your own little spin on it and it doesn't have to be a lot but it's just like hey I took this deck I'm not crazy about these few things but I'm gonna throw in these texts of my choice even if it's only fucking five cards at least it showcases that you're different from the person you took it from but that's the main point of this video they should be a tier list high tier players go up against other high tier players casual players face other casual players the end so if you guys would like to see more weekly topics from me like the video It'd be greatly appreciated if you do other than that leave your comment how you feel about this subject um subscribe to the channel if you are new i upload every tuesday thursday saturday sunday my tuesdays are my weekly topics like today my thursdays are my ranty thursdays where i do my bandless beatdowns and i tackle rant ons my saturdays are top tens where i do various top tens and my sundays are the six fifth pain challenge where i duel my subscribers Whew. hope you guys will have a great day bad tomorrow and i'll see you guys in a future video